get ready. Fantasialand in Brühl, Germany is one of Europe's best theme parks. Some developments in recent years have seen new lands like Klugheim and Ruckburg open, which has put Fantasialand firmly on the map for those who love immersive lands to get lost in, as well as anyone who loves thrilling coasters. But these new lands haven't just brought new rides, they also offer new dining options. In this video, we're going to discuss the park's table service restaurants and where we think are the best places to eat when visiting Fantasialand. Before we jump in, here's a quick reminder to like the video if you're enjoying it and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more of this type of content. Anyway, let's get into it. Get ready. Number 3. Manchu Starting with the oldest of the three restaurants, we're going to talk about Manchu. This restaurant can be found in the Chinatown area of the park. Chinatown in Fantasialand dates all the way back to 1981 and still holds up very well even by today's standards. The roof tiles in this land are authentic and were imported from China, which shows the level of commitment Fantasialand had to replicating the real thing. In our opinion, they're not far off with the food either. While this restaurant hasn't always been called Manchu, there's always been a Chinese restaurant here since 1981. The first thing worth noting is the building itself. It's a beautiful building surrounded by water that you must cross a bridge to get to, and if you look over the side you'll see koi fish swimming in the water. When you get inside, you'll find wonderfully decorated dining rooms with a central kitchen where you can watch the staff preparing the food. The food, as you'd expect, is Eastern cuisine. You'll find an extensive dim sum menu with vegan options available within it too. Traditional main courses like chow mein, gong bao and crispy duck with pineapple can also be found across the menu. There's just one vegan main course in the tofu with rice, which is slightly limiting. However, regardless of your dietary needs, we want to put emphasis on the dim sum menu, and we recommend sampling different items from it, as you'll get to try lots of different small things rather than having one big meal. For drinks, on top of a good selection of wine, beer and spirits, you'll also find some Chinese specialties like lychee wine, rice schnapps and warm sake. Number 2. Urwerk From oldest to newest, Urwerk is in the relatively new Ruckburg area of Fantasialand. This steampunk themed area is home to the park's newest coaster, Fly, and the area as a whole is incredibly immersive and arguably one of the best themed lands in the world. Of course, it's not just one ride, but features a hotel, a bar, and a restaurant, which is what we're going to be focusing on today. Tucked away in the corner of Ruckburg, Orwerk, translating to Clockwork, is a cozy little eatery themed to the weird futuristic industrial revolution vibe of the land and serving a wide array of food. Rather than serving one type of cuisine, Orwerk offers an odd mix of multiple cuisines which includes the cleverly named Rook Burgers, Pastas, Tartar and Hawaiian Poke Bowls. This can be beneficial if your party has varying tastes and preferences. One of the more unique menu items is the literal shovel of fries which comes with 5 different types of toppings. While most restaurants might offer fries on the side with your burger, in Orwerk you get 2 burgers on the side with your fries. The Golden Fritz Shovel menu items range from 24 to 27 euro, but effectively serve two very well. This restaurant's greatest strength though is its extensive vegan menu. While other restaurants will offer just one or two vegan options, Orwerk offers a poke bowl, two versions of the shovel fries, a pasta dish, and a sweet potato rook burger. They also offer a vegan dessert. If you're vegan or vegetarian, Orwerk is definitely the best place to eat in Fantasialand. For drinks, they have a nice selection of beers, cozy spirits and tonics that match the mood of the restaurant. Number 1. Rutmore's Tavern The last and in our opinion best restaurant in Fantasialand is Rutmore's Tavern, found in Klugheim. This relatively new area of the park is a Norse themed world decorated with basalt rock and wooden buildings. It draws influence from Viking culture, leaning a little bit into a more fantasy style. Much like Ruckberg, it's incredibly immersive. It's home to Taran, a multi-launch coaster and arguably one of the best coasters in Europe, as well as Reich, a smaller boomerang coaster. One of the best experiences in Klugheim though is Rutmore's Tavern. Upon entering this restaurant, you'll find a wonderfully cosy dining room complete with a roaring fireplace. This dark and dramatic tavern really does make it feel like you've traveled back to Viking times to have a meal. The menu is mostly regional German food. You'll find several types of Flammkuchen, which is a pizza-like dish specific to the Western German region, as well as dishes like pork knuckle, schnitzel, Bavarian meatloaf and lots more. 
Meals are served in piping hot pans, which is fitting for the overall experience. Interestingly, Rutmore's Tavern is the only restaurant of the three with a dedicated kids menu, offering veal sausage, pasta and more. Rutmore's Tavern has a great selection of drinks to go with your meals. On top of a large selection of beers, wines and spirits, they also offer a small selection of cocktails. We'd recommend either the Dark and Stormy, which has rum, ginger beer and lime, or the Tavern's Brew, which consists of whiskey, orange syrup, lime and Andex beer. Lastly, in terms of vegetarian options, you'll have the choice between vegetarian flamakuchen or a vegan potato pan with vegetables and mustard dressing. While both of these options are good, we'd probably say Rutmore's Tavern is better suited to meat lovers. So if that's you, we'd recommend this place, and if you're vegetarian, vegan, or have a variety of dietary needs in your party, Orvirk would probably be your best bet. If you enjoyed this video, check out our video on which Fantasialand hotels offer the best value. A link to that video will be on screen now. Where is your favourite place to eat in Fantasialand? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And now you're ready.